you are friends to everyone anyone can hug you how are you nice hair fine there are some of you someone you meet someone and in five minutes you've told the person everything about your life including the person you like five minutes five minutes Ah, oh, my name is this your hair is nice that's how the other day you know grace now say i don't know grace say one grace came and then this and that happened five minutes you've given somebody an unlimited access to your destiny bible says be wise as serpents oh i'm seated with christ be wise the bible says be wise the bible says mary kept these things to herself when the angel spoke to her she knew at that time the persecution would be unbearable if she opened her mouth. So she secured her destiny by keeping quiet. General relationships. This involves your love. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your, the general public. The access that you give people. That's the general love that you show people. Love all men. Honor all men. General relationships like we're coming for koinonia now you know and, and all of that you can go out and see somebody believer or unbeliever can just greet the person how are you the man who sells meat in the market for you all those kinds of people general relationships but there is a second level of relationship it's called family relationships family relationships both your physical and spiritual family that is a much closer level of relationship there are certain things that you can be able to communicate in church that you cannot say outside because of the level there in koinonia right now for instance this is a family so there is a relationship there is a bond that is between the workers is that true that may not be elsewhere there is a bond between your family members so you are comfortable to share certain things there are some things you cannot tell a market woman that you can be free and open enough is that true for instance a lady may not be able to just walk to the street and tell somebody i have a lump on my breast it may look embarrassing but as a family here it is possible that a word can come there is a lady with a lump and she can come out there's nothing embarrassing about it is that true because of the level of relationship if i cast out a demon out of somebody pastor femi or something there's nothing embarrassing about it because we are a family are you getting my point if I rebuke this lady right now, we are a family. There's nothing embarrassing about it. Are you getting my point? But there is a third level of relationship. It's called destiny relationships. Destiny relationships. He lead me and guide me to the city of above. He lead me and guides me to my place of destiny he lead me and guide me to the city up above he lead me and guide me for the last time now sing it as a prophecy lord you lead me and guide me to the city up above There are seven things one day i will share with you seven things that god told me if i keep these seven things i will be an unlimited person in my life seven instructions he gave me seven before god will release me to begin to do ministry he gave me seven things and by the grace of god almighty i have kept every one of those things see let me tell you behind every great anointing there is a mystery it's not accessible to everyone hallelujah different levels some of you you believe everybody should have a destiny relationship with you wrong sir so the things that are meant for destiny you bring out cheaply to everybody in the name of friendship are you hearing what i'm saying look learn if you learn what i'm sharing with you you will excel many of you it's not that god does not want to hear you there is a dimension of wisdom that you are missing write this down do not give everyone access to your life at the same level 
it's a rule you must keep if you want to be great not everyone qualifies for access to your life at the same level you must separate your life and your destiny into cadres. there are certain people that should only stay within the vicinity of the outer court of your life they have no business passing beyond the outer court that's why the tabernacle and the bible says know ye not that your body you are a temple meaning in the similitude of that outer inner and most holy court there is there is a separation there are people who should stop not everyone went to the most holy place the outer court was a general place any tom dick and harry could come there whether born again or not all kinds of things happened there but when you enter the inner court you met the seven lampstands the seven spirits of god discernment you saw the table of shoe bread that was changed every day the word of god hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying you cannot afford to be friends to everybody there are many of us who are so weak-willed we are friends to everybody when god has spoken to you about certain associations cut away from them say hey, but uh, this and that and that and let me tell you when god gives you an instruction and you refuse to obey you will hear his voice again you will hear many other voices but your your next instruction is at the mercy of your last obedience if god doesn't speak many other things will speak you will talk too huh the mind of your desire and passion will talk and you will think it's god god talks to you at the frequency of your yieldedness and obedience many people who are disobedient believers and claim they are hearing god fluently i have a problem with that son of man prophesy and he kept quiet and then he said i obeyed as i was commanded then another instruction came son of man now speak to these bones it came one at a time and it depended on the obedience of ezekiel hallelujah first samuel 21 verse 2 first samuel 21 verse 2 media help us please so this is a rule you must learn in life and about relationships do not give everyone access to your life at the same level please learn this learn this you cannot afford there are some of us people come to our house visit us in five minutes they are in your bedroom when my wife wants to dress this is where she stands and um, there's a particular cup hold on i will show you have you seen our parents do that a visitor comes to the house say come come there's something you must see we have a boy's quarters it doesn't stop here and the man is watching and he says sir uh, i am an importer and exporter uh, there are many things that i can do what what how can i come into this and in two days you meet a strange man you have struck a business deal with the man is that true you have you have given all your children and the cars as collateral an association that began the cycle of poverty and penury in many families because of the carelessness of many of our parents hallelujah a woman you meet somebody and in five minutes she knows the names of all your children she knows the name of everybody she even knows the challenge between you and your husband I tell you any lady that does that you are you are a bad lady you don't have virtue that you sit down and lambast your husband in the middle in 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 the face of a stranger at once in five minutes he already knows everything about you he knows that okay there is a problem in your family he knows that your first child is stubborn you know that the second one is better than the third one what did the person tell you about his own life and those people just keep quiet they keep saying really while you are lying and you are just continuing and then five minutes later you find out that somebody calls you and say you mean you said this about me i'm disappointed you say no 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 you can't quote those words back because they fell into the wrong ears you gave an uncommon access to a common friend are we learning something first samuel 21 verse 2 i like us to read this projected one to read and david said to ahimelech the priest the king had commanded me a business and had said unto me what let 
no man know anything of the business whereabout I send thee and what I have commanded thee he said I have appointed my servants to such and such a place the king wanting to do something he knew that they were wicked people the king was wise enough to know that not everybody is a loyalist are you hearing what I'm saying the king knew that there are people who can kill him if they want to kill him there are people who can do this and he found a man David look at the level of relationship he told David the secret and he said I have already sent some people to wait for you go and meet them there between you and them nobody must hear this the gift of uncommon access there are people who telling them anything about your life is the same thing as going to the radio station because immediately you tell them in 20 minutes they've told 20 people and told the 20 people don't tell anybody and the other people will run and say i don't know you all if they if they i have never seen you let me tell you something about people most people will come into your life not because of who you are but what they can get from you let me tell you 95 percent of the people you will meet in your lifetime and i say this without exaggeration 95% of the in church in koinonia everywhere 95% of the people you will meet many of you love me today because of the spiritual impact may God forbid but if they have as ever anything and they say there is a scandal between Joshua Selman and Zuera you see I, I've always suspected you see that the same people who say he's the king of kings this is this is my leader I love him genuine people are scarce say it after me let me tell you something don't be deceived just by church suits pastor apostle genuine people are scarce if you find five of them in your lifetime you are the most fortunate person i'm in ministry i can tell you this genuine people are scarce that a man prays with you does not make him genuine. Integrity is a rare virtue. Purity and sincerity. A state of truth. Truism. Oh, there are very few people that have that thing. How many people can look at Sheya and say, Sheya, I love you. Immediately she closes the door. They say, truly from my heart, I love you. Just close it. I just did. Let her go. Let's continue talking. Christians. In my life, in my life, I want to be sincere with you. In my life, I've not met more than 11 of these people as a leader. Not. Oh, I've seen all kinds. You don't want to know what people do to me. You know I've worked with a lot of people. 5,000 people wanted to make Jesus king the next day because they ate bread. Say bread. Who will not chase you if they will get free bread? And freedom from this wicked Roman a man who brought money out of a fish mouth why wouldn't you want to be his friend but the moment they held Jesus Christ see the true proof of the quality of your association is when things are going bad in your life that's why challenges are very important challenges purge your relationships while Judas was looking at Jesus Judas was just imagining how can I allow this man to just go like that judas was not necessarily a bad man he just was not um a sincere person he wanted to do business with jesus that's all make money with his anointing and it just happened that it backfired that's why he didn't do anything with the money bought a place and hung himself are we learning something tonight the king told david be quiet and david was faithful listen how many of you in this place don't lift your hands can say i am dependable and reliable when i was when the holy spirit was talking to me about this i felt like dying I'll, you know i told you how god deals with me i'll finish preaching first and then go back and say you're finished Abi. oh yeah enter and he closes the door and now i receive my own flogging out of all of this how many of you can say I am genuine? 
you can trust me with an information and I will not disappoint you. I tell you, 95% of those who want to lift their hands now are liars. If you try, that's why I'm saying save yourself from more sin because we are going to repent after this whole session. Hallelujah. Do you know that genuine people are scars? Genuine people, true people, not holy people, not tongue talkers, genuine people. You can look at a man and see the purity of his spirit. That a man is pure. If he tells you God bless you, he truly meant God bless you. No strings attached. Genuinely. If you are wrong, he says, truly you offended me. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. And you say, I've forgiven you. And he meant, ah, uncommon people. If I find if I find a genuine man in my life, I can pay him one million naira per month to stay with me. That's how desperate I search for genuine people. Amazing. I know people today who are the personal PAs of great men, not because of what their degree gave them. Their sincerity earned them a position that degree could not give them. I prefer a faithful people, a faithful person to a gifted person. Part of the questions for the school of ministry exam is for them to explain the statement a gifted rebel is not an asset no matter how gifted you are look at jesus when it was time for jesus to choose men look at the kinds of people he chose are you seeing that look at the sincerity jesus went to a woman who had seven husbands and although physically speaking her life was messed up he saw that this was a genuine woman he sat with her because he saw her sincerity are you getting blessed matthew levi in our world would have been called a dubious 419er is that true yahoo person but matthew levi when he met jesus christ something happened to him how about zacchaeus Zacchaeus so in the midst of his corruption he was just doing it because maybe out of pressure but from his heart he was true when he climbed to see Jesus and Jesus said Zacchaeus is your house I'm going I've seen something in you and immediately he went what did he say he carried all of he said all the money of all the people are return the tax that I collected on duty sincere people in your lifetime I'm telling you this be careful when people clap for you and say king of kings and lord of lords because when things go wrong they will shout crucify him they will say it to your face i'm the one saying it eben is me crucify her many of us have not learned that wickedness is real we have not been trained to be wise are you getting me now you see some of our parents do some things that look childish and to us we just feel come on what's there because a guy comes from koinonia he just invites you he say come to my house you can come spend weekends say, oh i know you are a clean brother really based on what where did you get that instruction are you getting blessed you must not give everybody the same access your life